<clears throat> I'm doing great. Let's, uh, I think I'm gonna reset the N64 so we can see the opening. The opening loads and all that. Rare owns your soul. Yep. Maybe yeah, so maybe I'm stuck with DK. But you have the fate to change that chat. Hasbro. Yoshi for the win. That's crazy. Yoshi with a thousand lead right now. God damn. The early lead. <coughs> oh god. How are you, Vanessa? Andra with the 21 months. Thank you so much, Andra. Andre, how are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> Thank you for the 21. Let me know if you want to put that towards DK or Yoshi. All right, uh, let's get this started. Maybe there's a save I need to delete. Is there a delete save option in here? Turn off the music? Dude, this game was ahead of its time. I have no idea what this game is going to be like, by the way. I, I've, I, I have no expectations. <clears throat> oh boy, there's a percentage counter. I shall be for GG. So I think this feels good already. I don't know. Ooh. We gotta do normal. I'm not doing easy. If there was a hard, maybe I wouldn't do that, but... I'm like, nah, I'm good, dude. Do I miss Ironmon? Not particularly. I'm having fun. <laughs> we got a wizard. Yeah, no kidding, this game is strange. This is how the game starts? It's Mr. Tip. It's like Clippy. My name is Mr. Tip. If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by standing near me and pressing B. Look at this, a game that actually helps you in an old video game? That's crazy. Diddy Kong, are you taking notes? By the way, you can press and hold B if you ever lose your ball. Okay. <clears throat> He's pointing. <laughs> With a ball. <laughs> this game is weird, man. There's a wizard with like a secret potion. Am I high? I, I am I high? Are we high? <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
I think my cartridge is broken, man. I don't know. Can I talk to you? Hello? Uh, what is <laughs> What the fuck is going on right now? Let's see what Mr. Tip says. What is this? This is a game called Glover. It's made by Hasbro, so it's not completely no name. Apparently, it is a classic. Uh, that a lot of people have loved and also have told me that is very strange. Oh, we have other Mr. Tips over here. Maybe Hasbro time? Maybe. This is the entrance to the practice level. Jump into the well to learn valuable tips and tricks. Interesting. Mr. Tip is everywhere. There's a lot of tips in this game. Clearly, this game loves to be all about just the tips. I'm going no hat. <clears throat> I feel like... This is very interesting. <laughs> I guess I should try a level, a practice level, right? I mean, these are like Mario pipes, right? If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by... Yep, okay, yep. Yep, B fuel is your ball. Yep. To control Glover without the ball, use the control stick. You can jump by pressing A. Press it again in the air to do a double jump. This is great! A tutorial in a, in a game from like 1996 or whatever. <clears throat> okay. To negotiate steps. Negotiate? Try bouncing the ball. This can be done by tapping B while holding the... B what? <clears throat> okay. Does anyone know what they're trying to say with that? <clears throat> Does that mean like running? To duck, press and hold Z. Tapping Z will make double. <clears throat> Glover do a cartwheel. What is this? <laughs> we're doing cartwheels. We're doing it, baby. To negotiate steps. I'm still trying to understand what the fuck they mean by that. <clears throat> yeah, no kidding, life's faded. So 
you ever hire Ross, try throwing the ball. To do this, hold beam, then push and hold in the direction you want to throw and release beam. Interesting. Game feels ahead of its time, oddly enough, in some ways. This is weird, man. I love it. <clears throat> I love how weird this is. You can also throw the ball. You can also use the throw action to get across gaps. If you are about to slap or throw the ball, you can change your mind by pressing Z. You can also press the Z to release the ball if you are just holding it. Right, let me read that again. Interesting. 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 Huh. I want to talk to you, friends. Some gaps are too wide to throw the ball across. Hold A and hold in the direction you want to slap the ball and then release it. Uh. <laughs> this is so fucking weird, dude. I, I, I'm like so intrigued by this game. It's, this is like just great. Okay, there's no other Mr. Tippies here. Hammer's honestly not awful in this game. rubbing my ball. Don't mind me. Balls. This game's all about balls. <clears throat> that that's wow. Oh, hello. This is a ball switch. Place the ball here to activate it. What the fuck? Shallow water can be crossed without a problem. Cool. Just 
Me and my ball. You cannot hold the ball in deep water. You'll need to use the ramps to get the ball out. <clears throat> I am not a ball sack. Don't call me a ball sack. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> How the fuck did I end up here? What the fuck? <laughs> Some ledges may be too high to throw the ball onto. Try combining bounce and throw. Oh, shit! Alright, let's see what we got here. Wait, is that not the... Wait, where's my dribble button? There we go. Fuck. Oh, I know what I should do. Oh, God. People are always voting the bid war. Some people want to see chaos. You can go back to a checkpoint? What the fuck? Let's see what you say. These crates can be broken by fist slamming them. Jump by pressing A, then press Z to slam. Holy fuck, dude. You can use your magic to change your ball. If you're holding it, just press R. Otherwise, point at the ball with B, then press R. My ball is a bowling ball! My, my ball is a, a marble! My ball is transforming. Take that. This game is about balls. Use a fist slam to operate it. Oh shit! Let's fucking go, dude. This is a great tutorial. Oh fuck! Oh wait, no, you're there. Okay, cool. Uh, where did that unleash?
Interesting. Whee! Dude, you have to do this backwards. Holy shit. <laughs> yep, you literally have to do this backwards. Okay, but M, what am I on right now? Maybe I just go up here. Oh, fuck this. Bounce and throw. Okay, so this is bounce. Maybe going on this little platform gives us, like, a little bit of height. Can I, like, double bounce? to get really high. Wait, that felt... That felt good. I'm trying hard to caress my ball. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing my best to just get a control of it. Okay, if we're facing the right direction, that'll work. Oh, we're so close. I think it's literally press... Oh, it's... I can't get it in the direction that I want. There we go. I think I understand. Okay. I think what they failed to mention is holding a button. Let me try this out again. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Getting there. Whatever I did, I was getting it there. Hold on.
What? There's something. I got the mechanic. I just need to figure out what button I was holding. We're getting there, gamers. We're getting there in this very beautiful, strange game. I can't believe you have to go backwards in this. That's so funny. Okay. Here we go. Bounce. Bounce. Let me try just holding. Oh, there was something, man, that was like working. Aha! What did they say exactly? Interesting. I think the control for that is different. Very interesting. I think I get it now. You just need to hold it in the air. I don't... I don't think they said that. <laughs> nice. There we go. Alright. Time to see if we need to finish with the ball. No, 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 no. Get over here. Oh, that also works. Do we need the ball? Yep. We sure do. No! No, 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 no. Give me the ball. Give me my ball. Aw, oh, fudge. Okay, that makes sense. The controls are starting to make sense, gamers. We're almost through the practice level. Very nice. Sorry, y'all. It, it's just, you know, it takes me some time to learn how to control my balls. They just kind of start flying everywhere, and I don't know what to do with that, but uh, I think I am starting to get a good grip on it. Like, that uh, That makes sense to me, you know? Always got to take the time to make sure you know how to control your balls. Because if your balls are flying everywhere, then, you know, no one's having fun then. I heard... I saw that. That's crazy. We are on the OG. Come on, I just need it in another direction. Okay, all these directions are not... There we go. Cool. Huh. Let me out! We made it through the learning level. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That was, that was wild. <laughs> okay. So now we have like a, a pretty okay idea of how the game works. Game is weird and strange. And that's exactly what I was expecting and what I wanted. This is just going to be great. Let's see. What level is this? Is there a way that we could see? Is 
this the practice one? Yeah, we can return. It's an LSD version of Super Mario 64. Beautiful. Cool. All right. I was wondering if there's like a control section, but that's all good. We were a beautiful 0% of the way through. Doing great. Alright, so what the fuck is going on in here? I guess. It is a fountain of some kind. What in the fuck is going on here? This reminds me of like the Super Mario Galaxy like star station I feel like it serves a similar function you know very interesting Here's the way that we can run. That's such an eerie opening, man. Probably need a ball. That's so wholesome. Now let's get our ball and see if that lets us in these places. Aha! It's like a circus. What the fuck? Strange stuff, man. Well, I guess we'll do whatever this is, because this is next to that. Okay, so throwing the ball in doesn't really help you much. Nope. Nope. I think that's the best part. The best part is not knowing.
it was a success. Interesting. We did something. Some kind of alchemic reaction. Where's my ball? Is this where my next ball is? No way. <laughs> All right. This is so strange. I love it. <laughs> Holy fuck. I need some caffeine soon. Fight Garibs to score points. Get 50 and win an extra life. You can get lots of more points if you collect them fast. Even more by using the ball. More points. Wow. That's crazy. All right, cool. Looks like for 100%, it doesn't matter if you get them with the ball. Not a good idea to try and ground pound that shit. Oh. Trying to hit him. Alright, that did not work very well. Uh oh, four balls left. Isn't the ball like a form of offense for us? Chat, does anyone here know if I'm supposed to attack this thing in some way, shape, or form? I'm trying to hit it with my ball and it's not working. I think it might just not be meant to be. Use your magic to change your ball. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like I haven't seen this tutorial on taking down enemies yet, right? So like, yo, we're at 420 playing Glover. This is great.
Some enemies can be destroyed by fist slamming. Uh, fist slamming is... Yes, that. Nice. Got him. I feel like this is a fist slam kind of thing. Nice. We're really fisting this game, man. This is a checkpoint. Throw the ball through it. And you will return here if you lose a life. Cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. Why does this have to be backwards? I get it, but also fuck me. Yeah, that fish is very angry. My ball! Fuck you, man! What an asshole. Fist it. Very nice. Alright, so that looks like the end of the level. But I would love to get this shit. To fifth 100% completion. There we got one here. Oh my god, he was taking a little relaxation moment. I get it. It's been a tough level, buddy. It's all good. Alright, we are three away. Let's see if we could find them. Where's the fish? I feel like killing the fish will get us one. Yeah. I'm just with cracks and can often be smashed. Hmm. Go bowling ball.
Okay, maybe with the bowling ball we could take this guy out. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a minute. Hold on. There you go, very easy. Okay, if we hit him with the bowling ball, I think that'll kill him for sure. Come back! Ball was like, bro, what are you trying to do, bro? Okay, all right. The physics are just not going to work on that. Hold on. Can't bounce that. That makes sense to me. any of these hiding at the start actually <gasps> it's an extra ball life It's going to come from an enemy. I have an idea. What if we bait him into hitting a bowling ball? It might just be crazy enough to work. do this <sighs> get bowling ball Okay, that does confuse him. Okay, we got him confused.
Do we have any Glover experts? Glover experts? Ow. Maybe we don't go for a hundred percent. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe we save that for Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, let me out! Let me out! We beat our first level! Woo! Oh god, they were timing it. I, uh, I, you know, it's fine. Where? What? Hello? I guess I'm in the next level. Maybe? No, this is the same level. No, that's not interesting. Chat, who else is like super intrigued by this game? Because I am super intrigued by this game. It's like mesmerizing. Okay, that's way up there. So we need some kind of a switch around or something. This might just work. I don't know if that's intended, but we're up here, baby. How do we get homeboy? Up here. Isn't it very strange? I mean, it's a game about balls. Yes! I would like a hint. All the pillars. Oh, interesting. So that's not this level you're talking about, right? I appreciate it. Uh oh. What 
What do you want me to do here, game? <laughs> Let's see if maybe some magic will help us. Okay, that put water somewhere. Aha! Look at that! Ah! I found it out. Oh, I feel so gamer for that shit. Was was the bowling ball that what did it there? It's going to be caffeine time soon. Let me out! Nice. Ah! 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 Help! Oh my god. Interesting. Okay, I feel like, uh, yeah, this ground pound's gonna help a lot. Uh. Kinda sounds like a setup for a porno music. Nice! We're learning. Okay, so now that we're into this like an hour, I think I understand how, my feelings about this game a bit. Uh, in terms of how I would like to approach it. I am a completionist and I like 100% in games. Uh, but honestly, this camera and controls, they're very, very, very janky. It's like normal N64 camera sucks kind of bullshit, you know? So, you know, no surprises there. But uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, what will be the best for me to have the most fun in everything, which is obviously what we want, uh, is not going to be 200% this game. I mean, obviously we can't 100% everything. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to beat the game. Because I think that'll be a lot more achievable. Obviously. Captain Obvious here. And that will be good. Because I think uh, just beating the game will be a monumental achievement for us. And that'll be great. And I am very intrigued to play more. Nothing, I think, has intrigued me more in recent memory than this game. Nice. We're almost out of balls, man. That's not good. <laughs> Our poor ball count, man. Get back here. No, we're dead. We fucking died, ma'am.
Yo, we're we're two percent complete. We're doing it, baby. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh, I guess we need to go in with our ball. Oh, this is the... Makes sense. Alright, so we can't go in here. So we did level one already. This should be level two then. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's see if we have learned. Oh, yeah, we can tell because of the cracked surface. Okay, so we can also just fist punch that shit. That also works. Very nice. We're learning the way! So proud. This is like Zelda, but with a ball. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, I need to remember that when we're walking on the ball, everything is backwards. That is definitely the biggest thing that has fucked with my brain so far is trying to do everything backwards and then do everything forwards, depending on the situation. Ah, fudge. to grab the checkpoint next time and not be silly. Okay, if I'm not in the water, I need to not be on the ball. That is so mind fucky. I there's no way I need to just get a grip and do that. That's fine. All right, one life left. We could do this, man. I have a feeling we're close-ish to the end, right? We just gotta go, man. No! Fuck! All right, it's so our last life again. It's fine. Okay, let's just chill out a little bit.
fat. I think I just don't have good control over my balls, man. I don't know. Hey, B, do you have any advice for me? I'm trying to get more control over my balls. Gotta play with them more? Oh, Gotta play with my balls more. That makes so much sense. Sorry, I should have known better. I shouldn't have even had to ask. I totally would. I'm missing the VRU unit, T-Pat. That's all I'm missing. Yo, what up, Chemical Pirate? Ah! Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Oh. 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 What the fuck, Ivy? Dude, these water... Like... Oh god. This water is so fucky to me. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of effort to get used to walking backwards in the water and then immediately after walking forwards. It's going to be an effort. I know we could do it. It's just going to take some calibrating. Oh yeah. That's the end! We could do this! We could do this! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh, look at my ball go. Okay, how the fuck do I do this? I need, like, I need water. <laughs> Collect this potion to make you big and strong. Oh my god, it's like Viagra, but for our health. Oh, oh, oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god, it literally is. Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, the Viagra is going to help us get our ball in. We need to use the Viagra. No! My ball! Jesus Christ.
That sucks, Zedders. Holy shit. Oh dear god. Uh, let me out! Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We just got to do that from here. Oh, yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> No! No! Maybe I can hit it from here. Maybe that is just a bait. One. Smack that ball. Oh, ah, shit. The solution is easier than you might think. Oh, um, Can I have a hint. Where the fucking gun? Yeah, it sounds like if I be were a doctor, he would just be like, just feel better, SMH. difficult for me and I am an adult that's the summary of the n64 marathon <laughs> oh god too real I blame rare wait why that what what give me my Viagra Yo, I'm having trouble getting the ball in the hole. I think I need help. Oh, yeah. No! Wrong hole. That is not the wrong hole. Okay, wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Wait, this is a hamburger helper licensed game?
Y'all, I am so sorry. I just had so much trouble maneuvering my ball right there. All right, I had somewhat the right idea, though. And by that, I mean I really didn't. But, you know, it's fine. Yeah! Woo! Hey, sub 10 minutes for that attempt. Yeah. By the way, if y'all missed out, we have changed the goal from add 64 hours to add 36 hours, but we will also do a GameCube marathon. Boy, I like this song. How's the stream? Glover's fucking weird. I love it. The controls are kind of ass, but I think that's just N64, to be honest. I think N64 games just have shit controls. Hey, stream's going well. Oh my god. Ay ay ay. If anyone has any uh, controls advice, let me know. Oh my god. Ah. Wow, I'm struggling right now. Um. Uh. It's just... You could tell these are the first 3D games. You know, like, like going from like... Going backwards to going forwards. So often going back and forth is very, uh... Oh my god. It's like... Making me very uneasy. Uh. There we go. I did. Oh, you asshole. My magic is not working right now, unfortunately. Oh my god. This is making my body physically cringe trying to just get this to work. I'm just trying to get on the platform.
<laughs> oh my god! It's it's just this I'm trying I'm trying so hard this camera and controls are are killing me right now Cuz I'm doing all like so pretty much just for reference for y'all this is all like backwards Like while you're in the water like cuz look we're walking backwards so we're going forward to go backwards and now I need to go backwards to go forwards and then left to go right. And then once you go on the land, then you can stay on top of the ball or you could hold the ball and move it like normally. Like now we're going to jump off. Now it could go normally with like the stick. But now it's like my brain is like so effed because now it's like I'm switching everything that I just did. And now I just hit the A button, and I'm about to end up back in the water, and we lost a life. So, yes. I would love cheat codes. Oh my god, that would be the best right now. At this point, I don't give a fuck. I mean, we're at the start of a new level. Oh my god, now I have to do that. What kind of cheat codes? Why are you in the water? I mean, we are at the start of a level, so that's fine. Uh, I'm getting worried that I won't be able to beat this game. Like, Diddy Kong Racing was great because it was insanely challenging, but like, I got it. Like, my body's like, uh like physically cringing with some of these camera and controls not like cringing in like oh ew but just in like a it's extremely unsatisfying like like nails on a chalkboard but with a video game controller where's the owl i need the farting owl I'm not even like mad about it. It's just like I'm trying so hard to get it. And I want to get it. I want to get it so badly. Yeah, I'm down for cheat codes. Try and salvage something here. Yo, for real. Hi. Those are cheat codes? Alright, so what's the code then? Fucking Glover, man. I feel like a kid right now. Left is fart.
Left, right, left, right, left, right. No, I want to decipher this shit. Uh, do I need to do anything? Hold on. Fish eye on. What the fuck? That's a cheat code? This is literally just a better fucking camera! You need a cheat code to have a good camera? Okay, this is also really kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Give me more codes. Do I need to do anything? So... <laughs> yeah, true. Right, right. Is there a way to, like, prompt them? Is that the same except... I think I keep getting the same code. How do I get a new code? Same thing. Oh, it's B. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? Oh yeah, I'm really buff. Look at me. Look at look at me, man. Ah, that's great. Right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so pretty much there are no other cheat codes yet. Is that
Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this game. So I'll take more cheat codes. Fuck it. I'm curious if the fish eye will help me enough. You know, I don't know if this is better or worse. It's not that much worse if it is worse. Eh, it might be better, actually. Oh, fuck. Honestly, I'm down. Oh. Do we have like some crazy cheat codes like flying and shit? And that's like break the game. I also haven't used like cheat codes in so long. It's kind of like nostalgic. Also, I'm turning this off. True. Yeah, fuck this. Let's just do cheat codes. Frog? What do you mean equals frog? <laughs> up, right, down, right, up, up, left, up. Up, right, down, right, up, up, left, up. Damn. Enemy ball? Left, down, up, right, left, left, down, down. Enemy ball. That is an enemy ball. Mad Garibs. Down, right. Down, up, left. Down, left, up. Mad Garibs. Oh my god, they are mad. Dude, this is so nostalgic, like, doing cheat codes. It's just not really a thing anymore. Big ball. Chat. Chat, chat, chat. We gotta talk. Chat, do you like big balls? Do you like big balls? Do you like big balls, chat? I need you to be honest with me. Do you like big balls? I don't see anyone saying yes. I don't know. I don't know. Who doesn't? Good enough for me. Where's my ball? Oh, I probably need to turn off the uh, enemy ball. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my ball is so... Oh, God. 
My ball is so large. And like swollen. And red. Oh, we can summon the ball. Dude, they included a lot of built-in cheat codes. That's hilarious. I think this game was f too fucking hard. No, 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 my ball, my ball! There's a cheat code for camera rotate left. What? Oh. That camera. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, thank God. This code goes hard, dude. What the fuck? Can I jump? Yo, super monkey ball, dude. Let's go. I'm on fire! Wait, in vanilla there's one here anyway. crazy codes that look cool. Alright. All the levels are open now. Ooh. 
All right. Well, this game is fucking crazy. Um, I'm really happy that we've tried it. The secret sheet? What's the secret sheet? This is a cool Mario 64 run hack. Yeah. It's a secret. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I see. Oh, no way. That's different. Huh. Down, up, right, right, down, left, right, right. Uh. What the fuck is this? Definitely something. All right. I think, unfortunately, that is going to be it for our Glover adventure. I, um, I am the hamburger helper, guys. Pretty crazy. I really wanted to like love this game and like get to play all of it and maybe even 100% it. But I and, and th there's a lot of this that I do love. It's just the controls are just too bad. It's just it, it feels uncomfortable to play. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. You know, this is just a uh, it's it's a lot of uh you know these N64 games are the first 3D games really you know, um, so you're gonna have a lot of games with really bad controls and cameras and yada yada yada. Um, can you remap them? Not really. Can you remap them? I looked in the options. I actually did, and there was nothing. Um, but yeah, the controls are very cringe. Uh, I think my biggest thing is like just how much water is a part of it, and how like the water you go backwards and then right after that you have to go forwards. And all of that trying to get used to like the N64 control stick. Um, but hey. You know, for what it's worth, this game is strange. And I think that's really cool. And um, you know, I could see myself someday playing the Steam version of this game, and I feel like that would just feel a lot nicer. Um So maybe I'll be back on the Steam version. I don't know if they fixed like control issues and it just feels better on that. If it was like a full remake or what. Uh, but I can appreciate this game for what it's trying to do. I can also really, really appreciate that even though it feels jank as hell. Yes, it was re-released like two years ago, I think. This game had a great tutorial. And I appreciate that. It's a port. And... Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. All right. Chat, we're going to do a bid war for what we do next. This is supposed to be after the entire playthrough. But uh, we're going to do either Donkey Kong 64 or Yoshi's Story. Which I'm very excited for. Very excited for both of these. Um, whichever one wins. Uh, so... Yeah, I think I was pull up a live split timer. Um, if anyone has a resub, resubs count 500 each. For a resub, one bit counts for one, 100 bits counts for 100, $10 tip counts for 1,000, a dollar tip counts for 100, exclamation point tip for that. And then of course, uh, bits, tips, and gift subs also count towards the goal at the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that we tried this. Yeah, we'll do like 
10 minutes. That way I can, um... Make some G fuel and caffeinate ourselves up. I also might go back to Diddy Kong today as well. It's Piplup and Turtwig and Chimchar, all with little bow ties. Very cute. West 64. I don't think I do. I don't think I've heard of that. All right, I'm gonna go and get some G Fuel ready. We'll get a proper start to the day. It's fine, once we actually get everything hooked up, uh, like that'll be our normal stream time. <laughs> How's the best game ever made losing this bid war? I don't know, I think people want Yoshi Story. You know, Ellie and I have been getting our asses kicked by rare, 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 rare games during this marathon so maybe that's um maybe that's not a bad thing that we're not playing donkey Kong 64. i would love to play either i really really would like very much so also hi etiquette Ooh -woo. all right bid war starts now i'm gonna make g fuel i shall return
Gonna open up a new container of G fuel. I'm hype for, oh my God, hype for hype sauce, actually. Use code 4GG, y'all. Chat, what do you want to win? Out of these two for our next game. Sky, holy moly. What? That's huge. Yeah, both of these are games that I have never played before. I'm actually so excited for either of these. And that is why I did a bid war. Because I would love to play either of them. Also, just a reminder that free prime subs do count towards the bid war. Resubs count, and when that might have a resub alert lurking, it all counts towards the bid wall. Getting the shaker out, baby. The not the shaker, the the serving thing. The top. Yeah. Sauce, my beloved. Three minutes left. If nothing changes, we will play Yoshi's Story. I will give, uh, I will give the timer, like, Five extra seconds after for delay, by the way. That is what I will account for. Guy making moves! Hell yeah! There we go. Caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. Fucking Glover. Glover. Yoshi, I feel like, will just be a really nice change of pace. Donkey Kong 64, I feel like, would be really hard. I think his rareware has traumatized Elliot and I this marathon. With their dummy difficulty. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That raspberry lemonade just hits so nicely. Hmm. I'm ready. I went eight wins, one loss out of day one, then two wins, four losses day two, but 10 and five was enough to get 34th. Nice. That is so sick. That is so sick. Okay. I'll just let this run out at this point. I'll let it run out. Let's 
Go Yoshi! I am so excited! Yoshi! Was there a Yoshi game on, like, SNES, or is this, like, the first Yoshi game that is, like, a Yoshi game, like, ba just totally based on Yoshi? Wait, is Yoshi's Island, like, I don't know, I I'm ignorant. Mmm. Yep, there we go. Last chance, 30 seconds. 30 seconds for the bid war. Then has a last minute resub or cheer or anything. If not, we're doing Yoshi, baby. Is the first one with Yoshi that does not have any of Mario's core cast. Oh. All right, it's Yoshi story time, baby. I am very, very excited for this. decision oh wait i should have been reading hold on we get to watch that again we get to watch that again sorry oh Their memory. Yeah, erase everything. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm so excited. It almost feels like Paper Mario aesthetic. Part one beginning treasure hunt. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> ah! I'm gonna pick this blue Yoshi. I want that blue specifically. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, I'm so done with those, with these 3D games with shitty cameras, dude. How many of these can we have? <laughs> we have so many eggs. Oh, interesting. I have so many eggs. Oh, I need all the eggs. Okay, that's good to know. To eat today's lucky fruit, you'll earn a whopping eight hearts. One more thing. Do a ground pound near a shy guy while you're super happy. Oh, 
Oh, we're like making a border. Ow. This is one of the best aesthetics ever in a game. Miss Warp, wake up Miss Warp and her sisters to skip between them. Cool! This might be the best aesthetic. Pack E won't let you buy unless you give some something a special try. Interesting. Aha! The Z button does that. I am thriving in this right now, man. Oh, now you're over here. Yo, Ali, we're Yoshiing, yes. Okay, so the eggs are our ammo. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we have eight fruit. Oh, I think there's another one of these that we could have could have used. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my god. Press start to pause, you'll see Yoshi's mood and much more. Lucky and favorite fruit are shown along with any special hearts that you found. Our mood. <laughs> Nap time? There are four Miss Warps on each course. Find them and wake them up. If other warps are awake, jump on one to warp to another. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest number of warp you've reached. So it's kind of like a checkpoint, pretty much. What do you want from me? Unless you give something a special try. Okay, I have an idea. All right, I thought I could find more fruit. Never mind. I was gonna shoot some fruit out. It's all good. This part's not to me. I will find it. Don't help me yet, chat. Don't help me yet. I will figure this out. Can I warp even though I'm not? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess so. I figured starting the story would be good. Usually these games have tutorials. You know, new games. It's fine. something special. Oops. Can I jump on top of this? Oh, that was a good idea. 
I will ask for help, which will probably be in two minutes. I'm still thinking about it. Interesting. He won't let you buy it unless you give something special a try. Whoa, what that tongue do though? Holy shit. Eat my eggs. I feel like I've tried everything. All right, I will take a hint. I will take a hint. Probably like a controller or something that I don't know about, but it's fine. Yoshi's happy. 1052. That sounds good to me. I don't know what that means exactly, but... Mario also has this ability. Ooh, like a fire flower? Specific button combo. Check your tutorials. Cool. Is there one at the beginning that I didn't do? Should I go into training? Should, should, should we go do training? Oh. Is there, not, is there an option to quit? Alright, well. So want to tell me the button combo? <laughs> reset the game, basically. Nice. Should I just do the training? I didn't realize that I should have done training before starting your game. You did it by accident earlier. Ha! <laughs> 
Got it. Very nice. We did it! Woo! You can't eat it, but if you use your tongue, you'll be surprised. Whoa! That did surprise me. More fruit! Give egg! Okay, that's all of them. Oh no! Screw you, man. Got him. Oh my god, yummy! I love the taste of not dying. Yo! Rachel, thank you for the 29 months! Guys, get some hype for that! Melon race. Hit the question mark block and cross the starting line to begin the race. The faster you go, the more melons you'll win at the goal time. I'm ready, man. Oh, fuck. Doesn't seem very fast. Seven! Hey, that's pretty good in my opinion. Give! There are four Miss Warps. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Nice melons. Good morning. Are coins useful at all? Are they like a collectible? The magic vase. Hop on top and push down on the control stick. Why didn't you say I do that before? Dude, I love the storybook vibe. Gucci will gladly show you the way. He often stops to sniff a secret. Huh. Interesting. Find the special hearts to open other courses on the next page. Three hearts are hidden in each course. Listen for ringing chimes when one is near. Pause your game to see how many hearts you found so far. Hey, oh! This really is adorable. Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah! They fucked me! Screw you, man. Kari, I'm in my happy place. This is very happy fun times. How could you not be happy playing Yoshi? Impossible. Yeah, we're on full health. White shy guy? The white shy guy follows you around. Does he want to be your friend? He might not, he might know a secret, but he won't reveal un until you are getting him out of here. <laughs> nice. Right? Yoshi's just happy fun time. Is there a way to get these? Hmm. Hmm. 
The bubble ones? Eat five more fruits so that Yoshi can grow happier. Good morning, friends. Oh, I think we saw a, a, a white shy guy yet. Nice. I am thriving right now. Cool. Gotta explore everything, you know? This is the beginning. How do we, uh... How do you use the teleport people? Ah. I guess we need to find the third heart, maybe? It's easy now. Hmm, maybe it's something over here. Hey, never mind. And let him jump. Easy enough. Sorry, eggs. Nice, we're doing it. We should be getting to another teleporter soon. So basically, I need fruit. I need more fruit. And I need the eggs to pop the bubbles. Makes sense to me. Yeah. One more fruit so that the Yoshi can grow happier. What a wholesome goal, man. Yeah, let's go. Is this game just all about eating and happiness? Because I'm down.
This is my kind of game. Why haven't I played a Yoshi game before? All right, I think I have a decent understanding. And so the adventure began. <laughs> Yoshi set out an adventure, something, something. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. Not the tree. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Adorable. This looks a little scarier. Ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Is there a way to restart? Or did my game save? Can I reset the console? I wanted to do the training first. Gotta die on purpose, you know? It's a death warp. Oh, oh god! Oh my god! That's a death animation! Is there no way to get back? Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I need to use the bathroom. I will be back. Enjoy the title screen.
They all agreed to rescue the super happy tree. So they had to follow the trail of fruit to find where the tree had taken root. Oh, I understand. One Yoshi wondered as he bounced if baby Bowser could be trounced. We'll stay together, the others cried, and stomp his baby Bowser hide. Damn. They're kind of savage. Is it trial mode or practice? Trial mode? I have a feeling it's not trial mode that I'm looking for. Flutter jump. When you're in the air, press and hold the A button. If you push the control stick during a flutter jump, you'll float even higher. Cool. Eggs in blocks. Hit the bottom of the egg block to get all the eggs Yoshi can carry. Belly. Eat 30 fruit to end each stage and advance to the next. Use the L button to turn off the fruit frame. Uh. I know, I kind of like the fruit frame. Oh, oops. My bad. Fixed. Thank you. Z button throw. You uh, throw eggs using the Z button. Aim your throw using the control stick. If you shoot an enemy rather than eat it, Yoshi will be twice as happy. If you decide not to throw an egg, push the B button to cancel. Satisfying aiming, not gonna lie, man. Break time. Rock block. So blue. So blue and hard. Break it with eggs. Leave it in shards. Oh, it's trying to rhyme. That's funny. Need eggs. Let's be friends. This is a practice course, so the white shy guy can't help you yet. Those are hot peppers. The smile meter. This shows Yoshi's mood. When Yoshi eats yummy fruit, the meter smiles. Eating yucky food will only make the smile meter frown. Oh, start quits. Well, that's cool. It's alright, most of this that we did was reading anyway, it's fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I need to go too crazy with, the, with that. I just want to get through the tutorial. Power flower. Yoshi can get energy from this flower, but he won't earn any points. Remember to ground pound, jump up, and push the control stick down before landing. Ground pound on top of the question mark blocks to open them. Throw eggs to break the bubbles. Whoa. What? Also, hi, Angel. I get to see Angel today, y'all. When Yoshi eats heart fruits, he becomes super happy. For a short time, he performs all his moves with extra flair. Super happy Yoshi has endless eggs and a longer tongue. Oh, oh okay. And he's even invincible. If you pound the ground, every bubble pops and Shy Guy turns into Lucky Fruits. Okay, whoa, wait, how do I get super happy? Heart fruits, okay, heart fruits. Heart. Oh, so it's like, it's like star power pretty much. Yeah, let's fucking go, dude. Each Yoshi has things they like, but they all dislike the same things. Yoshis grow happy if they eat their favorite snacks, but sad if they eat junk. Yo, we're lit, dude. Those cannot be destroyed, I suppose. Use the R button to sniff. You may catch a whiff of something sweet. The closer you get to seek the secret, the faster Yoshi sniffs. If Yoshi gets so excited that he barks and waves his arms, you're on the spot. It's time to pound the ground. Jump, push down on the control stick, and the secret appears. Oh, that's what that was. Sounds good, Kari. Thanks for hanging. Special delivery ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. Huh. Oops. Alright, so your balance matters. sense to me
Oh, that's different from the one that I was on before. Yes, this is a uh, one flower life, so that's interesting. Uh... Yeah, let's go. Bone dragon. Bone dragon hates a pounding, hates a pounding egg as much as eggs on his face. Bone dragon. Do coins mean anything? Nice checkpoint. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially bulk. nowhere down here right 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 i'm gonna die if i go down there okay cool There's got to be something here. Nice. There we go. Look at me. I'm such a gamer. I need to take advantage of the fact that we can flutter, man. God, Glover is your first game? Dude, that game fucked with me. Nice, took advantage of that. Okay, that's definitely death. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried like the control stick thing. Ah! 
Wow, that's forgiving. Why, thank you, game. Let me keep the heart. Not bad. in the mid 30s how are you stealth what's up yo get some hype for the re subby thank you thank you hope you're doing well no Need eggs. Wow, stealth. Oh, that's got to feel very much like a relief, I'm sure. No, she's going well. It's just very cute and wholesome. Very different than Diddy Kong. Which is not cute or wholesome. Very nice. Look around, it's not too far. Can you find the special jar? Ah, too kind. What a Latiku egg. back again sorry enjoy yoshi again Let's try yellow yoshi oh we're running out of yoshis i think yeah we'll be fine Mm-hmm. 
Sorry for the extended BRB. We needed some fresh air. Oh my god. I think I'm just feeling a little out of it. But I do feel a bit better now. I think it's only because I did 11 hours yesterday and then I drove for three hours. It also wasn't easy driving. It was like driving to New York City, like, to, you know, drive through traffic and all that kind of stuff. So I think uh, I'm just a little like... Bleh, 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 bleh. But just sat outside for a couple minutes and should be good. Yeah, you know, like, <clears throat> driving is just... Driving could be tiring. I pretty much had, like, effectively an 11-hour workday with, like, an hour and a half commute. Except instead of it being each way, it was all just together. <laughs> yeah, just gonna take it, uh... Just keep taking it easy and have a good lunch and all that kind of stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, we get to play Yoshi. Which is great. Yeah, 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 we did that, we did that. I appreciate all of your patience. Thank you very much. Just appreciate you guys being here. And, like, hanging out. This marathon has just been so fun. Even though, like, 80% of it's been Diddy Kong Racing for me. <laughs> uh. These little guys are demons, what the hell? Oh, fuck off. Ah! They don't get... Affected by stuff. Oh my god. Good. Good. You guys have a favorite game from the marathon so far, by the way? For me, it's kind of easy because, you know... Did a lot of Diddy Kong Racing, so I'm gonna pick that one. Let's get, like, all three. Damn. Uh, I kinda need more Yoshis. Yeah, we need more Yoshi. Glover, even though I didn't get to watch it. <laughs> yeah, oh man, it's too bad with Glover. I wanted to do more Glover. But just the, the controls and the camera just messed with me, like, too much. Hmm. 
That was such a good idea from Elliot to do that. To do stadium with uh, viewer picks. That was like such a good idea. Dude, the shooting system in this is actually great. Yeah, I learned that pretty quickly. <laughs> the biggest thing that fucked with me was, um... Yes! Mega Blaze Kid. But yeah, like, the biggest thing for me was that you're going backwards in the water and then you're going forwards normally. I was just so upset because I was like, man, I love how weird this game is. I just... I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I will be uploading the entire marathon, by the way, on my VOD channel. Exclamation point VOD channel. Both my shifts and Elliot's shifts. Actually, I haven't asked Elliot yet, but I'm sure he'll... Actually, no, I think he said yes. Yeah. We good. Ah! Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to try and do this. We're just going to do this like we should be doing it. We should be using our tongue. I actually have Jet Force Gemini. Okay, cool. It's a black Yoshi egg. Ah! Step on it and look around to see what changed. Hurry, it won't last forever. Mm, interesting. Oh, shit. Give! Nice. I've been having to try Jet Force Gemini. Like, I want to definitely, like, play some games that I beat, but I'm not against, like, just playing some games for, like, an hour just to, like... Get a feel for it. Interesting. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Bartering? What? to death. No, it does not. Ah! Wait, I want that. Ah! Yoshi! No! No. Okay. How far did that tongue go, though? Nice. One more baby. One more fruit. I feel like I would actually really like that. I 
I think it was. down there we have not seen yet <laughs> PS2 marathon would be so fun One more fruit, man. How do I get to that bottom area? I think there's a... Uh, hold on. Oh, we already used that, that switch. There's gotta be a way. can go. Hmm. Wait. Is that no. Is this new? No, that's not new. God damn it. I just want to play that in general is now That's a big heart As they continue to look for happiness the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave Inside lived bone dragon if Yoshi stayed they'd surely be eaten they escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Pokutori, thank you for the follow. Bro, this looks like Angel's home. Wait, there are other books that we can do right now. Huh. Hmm. 
Bro, I'm running out of Yoshis. They're getting locked up, man. This reminds me of Bully World. Hell yeah. Up and down, left and right. Jump on the snake to change his flight. How do we change the... What the fuck? Oh, uh, oh, we have to like jump up and down maybe. Well, that might be bad. Like I fucked myself. We did get a fruit though. It looks like a penis. This is so fun. Show back up, baby. Why can we go? Ah. Jump in the clouds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, ah, what is going on? Ah! Motherfucker. Wow, this is crazy. Thank God. That's not good. We're running out of Yoshis. Monka W. <clears throat> yeah, I guess a little bit. Dear God. Uh, motherfucking fucker. Oh, God. I got a new ride.
This is crazy. Oh. Okay, that's good. Yeah, actually looks like a sex toy. You know? Tell me it doesn't look like one. <clears throat> so much fruit. Oh yeah, I need... I don't have any ammo. Aha! Thank God. Yeah... Do I literally need every single one? Is there like an exact amount? This is not good. I feel like, especially for this, this would be very brutal. Oh, I'm one hit away. This is sad. Shit! Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like this! Oh, Runner has Yoshi! Fuck! Okay, we need to just be really, really, really careful. That's a hot pepper. I don't think we actually got the fruit from that. How to deal with those better? How, how do I? How how was I supposed to? No. How do you deal with the shy guys? Well, that's it. GG. Oops. So you have to restart the entire game, pretty much? Oh, cool. Oh, oh dear god. the wrong level. Hmm. 
This is very cute. All those arrows pointing to a wall. Ugh. Yummy! It really is. Oh, when they're blue, got it. Wait, what? Yes, please. Uh, how do I get this? Oh, there we go. I thought I got that. Very nice. I like I did not get a lot of fruit there, but, uh, we're here now. Take a checkpoint, actually. Huh. Not what I wanted, but that works. What up, artist? Yup, the vase. Oh boy. 
No, I'm trying to jump on top of you. Yeah. There we go. Why does this have to be so hard to jump on this thing? Just want the banana. Oh, that sounds lovely. Hell yeah, artist. I've never hit a tutorial block so many times. Holy fuck. All right. I blame the tutorial block. How did that not... It's fine. Cool. Where does this bring me now? Oh, lovely. Jump from the start line. Three melons. Oh, I could have gotten more. Wow. Yummy! And we got health. Interesting. Next page. Very cool. Interesting. So much fruit! New area, very cool. This is like the first area. What are you now? I'm an egg! Cool! What on earth? Interesting. What do I do as a fellow egg? Oh, I, I think I literally did everything else except for that. That is so funny. Son of a bitch. Fine. Oh, 
Oh my god, I went too high. Got anything that works in between? Ah. I'm getting there, man. That kind of worked a little bit. We we're doing something right. Guys, what is up? This is Galactic Elliot. Hello, guys. Why is this so addicting? Yeah, at this point it is. Oh, oh my god! There's a banana there. Oh no, that was my border. <laughs> yep. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Oh, this is new. And scary. <laughs> oh! We have been here. We're only three away, gamers.
There, Yoshi. Where there's one on the way back here. No, that was definitely me going crazy with the fruit border thing. I'm turning that off. That's gonna keep messing with me, man. What's this do with this? I think I want to check out a little bit lower. I feel like there's definitely like... Gotta be more fruit down here. Maybe not. Through the beginning again, through a different level, which is very interesting. Very fourth gen blankies. Very nice. Yep. Yeah, we've been through this.
All right, so we tried this one already. And I guess now these are what are unlocked with those hearts. Cool. Blarg's Boiler. I still have all my lives. Which is huge, by the way. Oh, crap. I think I was on this one before I died. Ugh. This feels crazy, dude. I feel like death is imminent. place if you use your nose you'll find out why That's fine. I need to save my eggs anyway. Fuck. Why am I like this? <clears throat> This one, this one's difficult. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, you fuck. Why aren't there more eggs? I need more eggs, y'all. I do kind of want to see the fruit, actually. Let's see how close that we are. So how many levels are there to unlock, like, per story page? Ah! I don't know what those do. What? Oh, there's, wait, what? There's another? What? Interesting. I want that grape! Fuck! We well, asked a pretty long, I would say. I did one, right? That, that was... That was not great. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, actually. Not gonna lie. Zarka, thank you for the 14 months! I'll get some hype for that. Hell yeah, thank you so much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. What's hell? Let's go! Yahoo! I've only burnt one life so far. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, we have six pages? Oh, dear. An ocean of boiling hot lava bubbled out. If the Yoshis didn't cross, they would never find the super happy tree. Oh, interesting. It is a different story based off of which one you do. Blarg and the lava were scary. The Yoshi bravely fought their way through. So the story changes a little bit. Mm, the page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Cool, I'm not doing that stupid Sky 1 1. Yeah, no, that was not cruising. Whoa. Oh, these are some crazy springs, actually. This is nice.
Got it. Raven, can you DM me uh, Yoshi Story Tall Tower? I want this song. Yeah, that other one was really not it. This is nice. Thanks so much. Oh, fuck me. I'm having fun. This is fun. Yoshi's fun. Wow, the melon just disappeared. Rip. This is so good. I like love this aesthetic right now. This might be my favorite one aesthetically so far. Just the, the colors are very on point. Nice. I was going for the double one. I got what I wanted. The hell? Oh. No, dude. Whoa. Love is in the air. No way. Also, I think I'm starting to understand the anatomy of these levels. There's like a few different parts with those warps, so like, if you feel like you found everything in one area, you can just move on. As long as you can, you know, find that new area. These chicks are kind of fucking deadly though, dude, not gonna lie. Oh, I could jump on them. Even better. Nice. The melons are extra good. Oh god. I just wanna get in there. There we go, just in time. Whew. Very good. Especially since this is supposed to be an easy one, I really, really, really want to try and not die. Leave serving. These are flimsy, so watch your balance while you surf the breeze. Whoa! That was... That was crazy. Wow, I can't believe Elliot would do that to you. I wanted that heart. No. We got a little bit of fruit. I see a melon. Nice melon.
Oh, they're all up there. Interesting. Shit, shit, shit. What do these coins even do? Yoink. That's really good. Shoot. No! Thank God I have some fruit. Or else we'd be fucked right now. When it's pink, it tastes sweet. When it's blue, it tastes bitter. Oh, now you tell me about that. Pink is good. At least I know. So violent all of a sudden. Ah! In my Yoshi game! Ah! Fuck off, I'm so close! Oh, you asshole. Give me the fucking banana. Let's go! No dads! Oh! Wait, what? What? In Peekaboo, who are you? Peekaboo, Peekabee, can't find me. Ah. Oh. What a piece of shit. This guy's an asshole. That was a good shot. Very nice. Deathless still. Yoshi. So we're halfway done, kind of, I guess, maybe. My mood is good. We're doing great, in my opinion. You know, I mean, like, shit. Oh, thank God. Dude, that... That other level. Yoshi saw a tall tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. 
After a tough climb, Yoshi found Invisio waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghost and saw a castle far away. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Happy 64 hours in the formerly 64 hour marathon. Man, I think we would be done by now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, we didn't get any other hearts. We don't have a choice. Cool. My yellow Yoshi. The cage. There we go. does actually yeah this game controls really nicely once you get the controls down goodbye i want the heart It was very eerie. I like the farting uh, owl, though. Kloana. I would love to play Kloana. Expecting that, but okay. Yep, that's how we finished. We did a bunch of cheat codes just for fun. It's a good finale. Good way to wrap up. All right, that heart's just annoying. Area three. I guess that's it. That sounds horrible. Yeah, sure, let's try one of these again. I got some pipes. Some
some fun warp pipes. What's going on here? Oh boy. Why is this level so kind with giving you lives? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I understand why now. Oh my god. Give! What an interesting level of this is. So there's nothing else? Well... Oh, and then that brings us down here. Oh yeah, Pokemon is my main game on stream. I'm a little worried though with the... Uh, like we have a bunch of areas cleared and I... I don't have a ton of fruit. Right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Hmm. Maybe this one will just have a lot. I do miss coca bread so fucking much, dude. So many bees, if you upset them, they'll become angry, so be sneaky. Monka S. It'll be fine. Ah! Oh, wait, can I move this? Oh, no, we can't. Worth it. Ah! Oh, those were so good, Zatters. Nice, there we go. Yeah, Justin. If I go by really slowly. Yum. Alright, let me out. It's been a lot of fun. Alright, we need to figure out where the rest of these are. Oh, cool. Interesting. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. 
Give. The fuck? Got it. Okay, five more. Five more. There might be five on this stage. had your stream up is my logic alive thank you so much for the raid welcome in everyone we're in the middle of a 128 hour nintendo 64 themed marathon and we are doing yoshi story my first time ever playing this game my low thick yeah Yo, go follow Lisa. She's awesome. Ironmon Gamer. It really is a bop. Alright, where the fuck? Oh god, wait, no. I'm gonna end up smashing this thing. <laughs> right, I need to figure out just one more fruit location. Got it. Boom! Yes, let's go, my loading! Woo! Hell yeah. Wait, what's this thing's moveset? Hey, if you guys are new here, I'm Josh. I do a lot of Pokemon challenges and speedruns and that kind of stuff. But we're doing a variety marathon. We did a little bit of Pokemon Stadium, but not too much. I'm playing a lot of variety. Diddy Kong Racing. It's been a lot of fun. Yo, we have two pages left, ma'am. Two pages! Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. Page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Yeah! Yo, Iron Tail Wing Attack Nightshade. That is an interesting move set. We're in the ocean! The ocean. Alright, I actually do want to just win. So, which one is easier? <laughs> lots of jellyfish or lots of fish? Happy Yoshi is good Yoshi. This looks very interesting. Um, all of them, and then I realized that I had to restart the whole thing. <laughs> so I've only lost one now in this attempt, because I'm a lot more lax, or uh, strict, I guess I should say. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yep. No, it was bad. Oh, boy. You know what? This doesn't feel awful. Uh, compared to other swimming. I don't prefer it. Dude, this aesthetic is so good. Kind of nice just being able to free roam, though. Especially when we're just looking for... Uh, 
some fruit. Fruit salad. Yummy. You know, this is actually pretty good. Like, actually not bad at all. Dude, N64 era, man. Uh, I feel like you're gonna kill me. Dude, it's so... No thoughts had empty. It's great. Yeah! Fuck you! Oh my god. This is stress, man. This is so str- oh, They're everywhere! So much yummy fruit, but also so much death everywhere. Oh, God. Can I eat those? No, there's no way I can eat the pointy ones. <laughs> ah! Yoshi, no! Oh, fuck. This is so good, but also I'm so fucking scared, dude. Yes, no more Yoshi deaths. Enjoy your post-stream dinner. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate you. Your community's in good hands. Ah! I feel crazy right now. Oh my god. Yummy. This is going well. Not the tentacle porn! Ah! Get away! From my wholesome video game. Nice. This game is so fun. I I'm so sorry. You know it, it, it's it's gone anyway. You're all good. So many bees. Yep, yeah, the bees. Bees. <laughs> Woo! Ah, not the bees. Fuck this. Well, that sucked. I forgot what to do for that. Not gonna lie. Is that not a fucking... Hmm. I just kind of... Why? How was I able to do this? before. That's how I did it. Uh, that's how I did it. I don't know how I did it before. Oh, it's a heart! Oh, boy. Cool. We're good. Yoshi! Are we good? Cool. We're back, bitches. Oh, we're like back to the beginning. Ugh. There we go. Surely this will get us to be done, right? Hmm. 
It's a very fun format. I think I understand what Elliot was saying now, that, like, the game is really short, but there is, like, you can go back. Which is very interesting. So I guess I should just find more of these pipes. So that one we went down. Everyone get away from me. Ah, oh my god. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Okay. Shit, dude. Oh my god. I am in a death loop. This is not good. Oh, this is copium. This is the copium music. Damn. We were just kind of stuck in a death loop there. Well, it's okay. We're on the second to last page. We only need like one more fruit. I think we're going to be going into the end game looking pretty good still. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any more deaths here. We still have three extra lives on top of what we already have. I think we'll be okay. So you know what I want to do? Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty copium because it's Yoshi and we love Yoshi. Wait, give me these. Wait, no, I only have one pedal right now. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. I am gonna farm that. No shame. This time, it'll just be better. This game feels so 90s, it's amazing. Okay, so simply, we will be patient! And not be a speedrunner this time. No hentai for us right now. Hmm. Where the pipe at, brother? Surely that's not the number four one we already did, right? Aha! Number two! Okay, this has to get us there. We're literally three away. Yoshi! I love you, Yoshi. Oh dear. Is that not good enough for you, man? The hell do you want from me? How do I be sneakier? Stupid fucking bees. Oh, fuck you, man. Can Shaggy help with my stealth? 
Okay, I just need three more pieces of fruit. That's all I need, goddammit. What? Did all that for nothing? The hell? I feel so scammed. What the fuck, man? I don't care about Shy Guy. How, how does Shy Guy actually help? Yes! Yoshi! Did my sibling ever text you, by the way, Unknown? Got it. All right, it's all good. Don't wake up the hentai. I feel like this is the level four one. Have we been here? Dude, I need three pieces of fruit, man. Three, I tell you. I feel like I need to... Find out where number three is. Don't wake up the hentai. You don't want that thing being all chaotic and crazy right now. We already have enough on our plate. Maybe it's down here. It is! Wait, no, there's a melon there! Son of a bitch. This will be good enough. I have a feeling. Two more, two more, two more. Are you fucking kidding me? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Go, 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 go. Wait. Was there not a... Was there not a melon there? Oh, great. Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yeah, dude. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, not a bad idea, Zetters. I hope you're just feeling better tomorrow, ma'am. We got a heart. The deep, wide ocean would not be an easy swim, but the Yoshis dove in. For the first time in their lives, the Yoshis swam to the ocean floor. After reaching the shore, the Yoshis found their story coming to a close. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Alright. This might be the final page. Oh boy. Well, it says finale. Alright, what's harder? The... Oh, wait. 
Or what's easier? Mecha castle, lift castle, ghost castle. I want to actually finish. Now that I have the luxury. What's the number one? Great. Wait, I don't see what happened with the shy guy. Let's do lift. Yeah, I think, I think I'd rather do the lift one then. Knowing that. Uh, I forget what it is fourth. Uh, my name is not based off of consoles, though. It's Pokemon based. feeling about this man wow that does not even work that's fucking crazy dude that is fucking crazy isn't it That makes me terrified of what that could even be. Can I try and hit both? Nice, yes I can. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, god damn it. I still have no idea what these coins do, man. Those are... Yep. Those will turn into... The wheel... The death wheels. I... I uh... N nothing... Nothing... That's not good. The shy guy count as an extra life. Okay, we're gonna ricochet this. You can't ricochet it? Okay, fuck this. Hold on. Yeah, please do, Zetters. Oh my god, that's still there? Jeez, there's another one waiting! Ah. Don't eat them. Okay, good to know. Interesting.
I think I might have pressed down a little bit, I guess. Interesting. I guess that was a waste. Oh well. Nice. Yes, give health, please. It is the final level. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Let me out! Oh, is that because I have no other warps right now? That's definitely what's going on. Let's do about that, but you know, it's fine. God. Okay, that was a free death then. Oh, that actually started me there. That's very appreciated. Listen, that's why we're saving the best for last. Copium. Fucking go. Ah, that is normally that. Interesting. Oh dear. Bounce off that. Is there anything up here? Does anyone know? I'm just gonna go. Oh, shit. Hold on. No, no, this is fine. Give, 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 give. Mm. 
Oh. Oh, the key is one of us now. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Into the pipe! Oh, not this. Not this, man. go back to Diddy Kong Racing. I do want to do some wave race as well. Fuck, I needed that. I needed that, man. No, no. How? I also might finally play Super Mario 64 for the first time ever. Oh, that game is dummy hard. She came. This is hell. Dude, the Diddy Kong game? <laughs> that was an experience. And somehow I'm still looking forward to playing more of it. Maybe I'm just a sucker for pain. I don't know. This is so hard. <laughs> right, I think there's one more that we can get. It's like dummy, dummy, dummy hard. Okay, no, it's on the left ish. All right, all the others we have. At least there's this life heal at the bottom. That is very nice. Yeah, that's hell. I am not interested. Not one bit even. Alright, we did get a lot from that. I think we literally got everything. We really farmed that as much as we could have. But also, fuck. Explained a lot. Oh, great, we're here. At least we have the key. Nice. Well, we'll be going into this door, whatever the hell's in here, on full health and with as many eggs as possible, so that's good. Alright! Let's see what waits ahead! I see a banana, that's great. Love that. Mm. 
Yum. Thank God. We only need five more. Oh, we could also bait them. I didn't realize that. Oh, fuck. Our stuff doesn't blow away. Nope, that's not something that can happen. Cool. I need to charge my phone. Such a deadly game, like all of a sudden. Up, up, but normally they would. Are we gonna get blown away? Where's the blowing? Yeah, the game told me. This is bad. Nice. Good, 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 good. We get, get some health back. Get some health back. Three more and then a boss probably. So, you know, that's fun. Well, that sucks. Yep. Figured that much would happen. Please be fruit. No! God damn it. We just need one more! One more! Trying to turn without dying. What that tongue do though? Let's go! Boss fight! Let's go! Come on! What have we here? Mario's little pet! I have pets too. Let's all play together. Oh yeah. Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bob at my ceiling. Oh, fuck. Uh, can I eat that without dying? Okay, that's not okay. Shit! It's gonna blow up. Ow. God damn it. Ow! Nice, okay, good. 
Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. That was fucked up, man. Such an asshole. Oh, he gave me fair warning, that's for sure. Being on good, like, is it an auto one hit KO? Or should I, like, try and get on better health? Dude, fuck. How did I get him there? the fuck? Oh dear. Wait, did that hit from earlier count? Like, when we died? Did that not count? Oh, God. The bomb blew up! Let's fucking go! Yo, this hurts! I hate you, puny little Yoshis! Oh, my God. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. <sighs> You're not wrong, Lisa. God damn. Oh. Yoshi's story is complete. Mirror beam. Let's fucking go, dude. GG. GG, any percent. Not knowing where to go, the Yoshis just climbed as high as they could. When they reached the top and looked around, they still didn't know where to go. 
finding the super happy tree might not be as easy as they thought. As the page turned, an ocean of boiling hot lava bubbled out. So there's all different permutations of the story. If the Yoshis didn't cross, they would never find the super happy tree. Larg and the lava were scary. The Yoshis bravely fought their way through. The Yoshis saw a tall tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. After a tough climb, the Yoshis found Inviso, waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghost and saw a castle far away. The Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. Yup. <laughs> the deep, wide ocean would not be an easy swim, but the Yoshis dove in. For the first time in their lives, the Yoshis swam to the ocean floor. After reaching the shore, the Yoshis found their story coming to a close. After a long journey, the Yoshis found the castle at the end of the book. And the author of the story was none other than baby, bad old baby, bad old baby Bowser. But without shedding a tear, the Yoshis chased crybaby Bowser away. And in the end, it came to pass. The super happy tree was found at last. The Yoshi had broken Bowser's spell Spell a tale for all the isle to tell. And the Yoshi lived happily ever after. Woo! Happy end. Was there a bad end? Yo, heart check in chat. Well, that was just lovely. That was just lovely. So yeah, I guess you could just go back and beat all the levels. Um, assuming you need to get like the hearts. Is it like four each world? So there's like 24 levels. Excuse me. Pretty nifty concept. Happy 65 hours, by the way. Very cute. What really blows this game out of the water for me, man, is just the aesthetic. They just, uh, they knocked it out of the park with all the colors and just everything. Oh. Yo, Mirror B, let's go. Yo, Black and White Yoshi, hell yeah. Uh, start select. A, B. Uh. Do I have to reset the console? <laughs> I'm mashing every single button. Y'all, I think I softlocked my game.
That might just be how it is. I might just literally have to reset. So interesting. <laughs> Trial mode. Oh, interesting. So basically, if we want to have all the levels, it would be like all these would have a level there. Well, actually, I yeah, know, yeah, because we, we defeated both of these. It's like time trial, except it's hearts. So... Oh, are they all unlocked now? I thought the hearts unlocked that. Interesting zoom. Oh, that makes sense. So you don't need to get all the hearts though, right? Like... Like you can get the hearts through any of the levels. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Um... Kind of like how there's more hearts than you need. Is that the case? Uh, I don't think they're babies. Interesting. Cool. I think I want to go back to Diddy Kong Racing because pain. Uh, and this will definitely be something good to go back to during the marathon, potentially, if we're just looking for something to do. Um, however, I'm not having Yoshi babies. What the f Yep, but I do want to get the final trophy, so I will have the game 100%ed. Um, I am feeling a little out of it. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a longer break. Um, I really think it's just because I did 11 hours yesterday, and then I drove for three hours. Um, to like New York City and back because I need to pick up my mom from the airport. So, like, I'm kind of just like nauseous and like not lightheaded, but like not a hundred percent. Um, so I have a plan. Are you guys ready to be entertained by George Wood for like 20 minutes?
Trust me, I would only leave you guys in the best of hands. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go like try and have like some light food. I'm gonna lay down for like 20 minutes. Twenty thirty minutes because tummy hurt. Enjoy nineteen nineties video game reviews. These are a hoot. I just got saltine crackers. That'll be perfect for me, actually. Pilot Wing 64 was released at the same time as... There we go. <laughs> Man, I wish we had pilot wings. Oh, I would, I would actually love... Uh, do I have pilot wings? That would be cool to play. I think we might do Wave Race. Either that or uh, DKR. All right, I'll be back in a short bit. Thank you, everyone. Mods are in charge. Behave. Pilot Wing 64 was released at the same time as Mario 64, but it has had nowhere near the sales figures. Flying games generally don't appeal much to us either, but we still kept an open mind and gave this game a chance. The problem is that the game doesn't give us much of a chance to like it. The graphics are impressive, but you don't buy games for the graphics. From the very beginning, Pilot Wings is slow going. No vehicle seems to fly very fast, and the play control is a real nuisance. One tiny, tiny movement, just the slightest of a tap, and you move way too far. Sorry guys, but the wind wouldn't have had that much of an effect. You might think we're nuts to say this, but try clearing three rings in a row and you'll see what we mean. The play control is way too sensitive, and practice doesn't make perfect. Because you can never tell how close you are to a ring or a landmark, it's difficult to tell at what altitude you need to be. The slippery play control also makes it hard to accurately change your angle and direction at the last minute. The game does have the proper on-screen data to help you fly, so at least that's a plus. The speedometer helps with the landings. The altimeter on the right tells you if you're too close to the ground, just in case your depth perception is weak. The radar circle helps you with turning around, which is difficult to do just by looking at the landscape below you. To make a 180, simply turn the dial on the radar 180 degrees. Your flying ability is not limited to your performance, however. Two other factors come into play as well, your chosen pilot and aircraft. Each pilot is skilled at some vehicles and poor at others. The instruction booklet lists all the pros and cons for each pilot. The three main vehicles are the hard to control hang glider, the very cool rocket belt, and the gyrocopter. Each vehicle must be used to accomplish certain tasks, like flying through rings or taking aerial photographs of specific areas. Only after each task is completed at a satisfactory level can you move on. Oftentimes you will complete the task, but not very smoothly, in which case you have to try again. This is good for real life pilots, but not for gamers, because the flying is slow going, repeating tasks becomes exhausting very quickly. Other vehicles are hidden in the game to add variety. For example, touch the star in New York City's Central Park and you'll become a sort of bird. You can even flap your wings. Even with bells and whistles galore, Pilot Wings just doesn't cut it. The landscapes are beautiful, but I wouldn't pay 70 bucks to see them. Get ready for the first race. Three, two. For once, we have something good to say about a game. Wave Race 64 has first class gameplay. Kudos to the designers who ingeniously incorporated variations in its waves, vehicles, buoy placement, tides, and increasingly aggressive racers into the gameplay. 
They also deserve a big pat on the back for having the sense to add land to the courses. In an earlier version of Wave Race you saw in a previous episode, land was not included, giving the game a monotonous look. That has been taken care of though, and the result is a visually exciting, wildly fun racing game like no other. The game has three difficulty settings, normal, hard, and expert. The ending ceremony is the same regardless of the difficulty level, but your journey to that ending will be different. Add one new course for the hard level and two new courses for the expert level. Wave Race 64 has outstanding graphics, sound effects, play control, and plenty of options. You can perform several stunts with your watercraft. Take a look as we show off for the virtual camera. Look! Riding backwards! These stunts do not give you any advantage and are included just for fun, unless you play the stunt mode, where your goal is to ride through a series of rings while doing stunts galore. If you want an ending, though, you have to play championship mode. If you decide to warm up before entering the race, you can be tutored on how to maneuver your vehicle. This takes place in Dolphin Park after you start the game and select warm up. It's also a good place to practice stunts like we did. The game has all the on-screen displays you need, and none of them are in excess. This shows the great attention to detail for which Shigeru Miyamoto is famous. That's right, the famous Mario creator had his hands on this project too. As in Mario 64, Wave Race also suffers from being too short. The entire game has only eight courses, thus the thrill leaves quickly, but Wave Race is great fun for a few days or so. We still hold to our original prediction that the game does not have enough oomph to be worth 70 bucks. But that's just the nature of the racing genre. You can't expect more, so unless you're obsessed about racing games, Wave Race 64 is a fun renter, but nothing more. This is kind of a short review, but hey, it's a short game. For those of you who never get to play this masterpiece, here's what happens when you win. Yippee ki -yay, another street fighting game. Killer Instinct Gold, while noteworthy from a programmer's perspective, comes across as just plain blah to us. The best part of the game is not even in the game. It's the handy cheat sheet that comes inside. No more keeping out the instruction booklet. As you can see, all the characters from Killer Instinct 2 for the arcade are here in this home version. Each character has enough moves, combos, linkers, special attacks, finishers, and God knows what else to kill somebody. Literally. KI Gold is rated T for teens, and rightly so. Remember our report on video game violence? Too bad we didn't have some footage of this little baby. The 3D graphic realism of KI makes the violence that much more noticeable. Just look at how Tusk just whacks this person to death with his sword. Ouch. Isn't it interesting that even Nintendo, who once had a policy against this stuff, got lured into the street fighting genre because of the pot at the end of the bloodstream? We're not advocating censorship or even commenting on whether or not the game is wrong, but it just makes us wonder why people actually spend 80 bucks to beat a bunch of sprites into the ground when they can do it for free on a real live human being. Okay, turn off the tisk tisk mechanism in your brain. It was a joke, a bad one. Nintendo's press releases make KI Gold sound like a revolution in gameplay. Yet, as with sports games, the real revolution involves only the amount of options, which are added as you beat various difficulty levels. The press releases also talk about KI's six modes of play, although we count seven. Arcade, Team, Team Elimination, Tournament, Practice, Training, and Focus Training. The Arcade mode is the only mode that will net you an ending. A mini ending first appears in the normal difficulty mode. A complete ending is available on hard, extra hard, or master. The extra hard mode is exactly that. Thank goodness for unlimited continues. I don't know how we did it, but we beat the game on extra hard and got the ending for Spinal as well as access to the master level. We'll show you Spinal's ending in just a minute. KI seems to be a rush title for the N64. The camera isn't utilized very well, except for an opening zoom shot at the beginning of each battle. The gameplay isn't 3D. It's practically no fun at all. The control, although more balanced and loose, is still more of a matter of luck. The game never once amazed us, although we did find two favorite characters, Spinal and Tusk. Both fighters have long swords that can be used at long range, so you needn't risk your life by getting too close to your opponent. Two other good characters are Saber Wolf and Bee Orchid, a very powerful lady whose spinning leg moves are fast, overwhelming, and powerful. Too bad the game isn't the same. Now check out the ending for Spinal.
Now here's an infuriating game. Myst is a top-selling PC game, now available from Psygnosis on the Sony PlayStation. No other game best represents the sluggishness of CDs. Even when you have the fast transition option selected from the menu screen, the game performs as well as a snail. Myst is definitely a classic though, and we see why. As we show you around the main island, notice the quality of detail in the graphics and the non-uniformity of trees and whatnot. This combines a surreal what we call Gaia theme in a scientific mysteriousness that both intrigues and perplexes. Oh, let's get back to the infuriating qualities. I almost forgot. We tried. We really tried. But even with a hint book, the game is invincible. There's one key problem area very early in the game, and we never passed it. The problem is in the spaceship, where you must enter a musical sequence to a tuner. The musical sequence is found in a book in the library, and there's even a harpsichord in the spaceship, so you can play the notes, hear them, remember them, and enter them correctly in the tuner. Well, good luck entering them. Even entering one note at a time won't work for us. We know other players who got stuck here too, but they only played the game briefly. This is absolutely ridiculous, because even though you know the solution, you can't execute it. Another gripe. MIST has no password feature, so memory cards are a must. One thing that isn't a must, however, is MIST itself. Sorry guys, but I've had enough of being mystified. And if I have to put up with one more groaning noise from the PlayStation as it very slowly switches screens, I'll freak out. Williams continues its dedication to the Super NES with NBA Hang Time, a basketball game, obviously. Basketball today equals Dennis Rodman, and sure enough, he's in the game, hair and all. NBA Hang Time is really nothing more than another NBA jam. To be fair, these games can't be too different. After all, basketball is basketball, which makes us wonder, what is the appeal of so many sports games when so many are basically the same? The answer is options. Whoever offers the most and best options wins the sports war in the video game industry. It's that simple. And NBA Hang Time has more options than Rodman's hair has colors. In this game, you can create your own character from scratch. Choose from several funky heads, none of which can be considered normal. Then, if you want, pick a different color combination for your sports jerseys. Maybe the game should be called NBA Gap. But just when you thought you'd seen every option ever made, you discovered that you can shrink your character to make him shorter, or vice versa. What a hoot! We made a green alien and put him on the Chicago Bulls with Dennis Rodman. It sure was easy to spot him on the court, and we're not talking about Rodman. Then again, I could understand why you would mix them up. They're both aliens in their own ways. NBA Hang Time's play control is just like NBA Jams. R is used for turbo, B is used for passing and stealing, and Y is used for shooting the ball or blocking an opponent's throw. For three. These tried and true button uses make for decent play control, although shooting a hoop from afar is still just a matter of luck. NBA Hang Time won't give hoop dreams to casual players, but sports junkies will eat it up. Well, unless they already have NBA Jam and they don't have money burning holes in their pockets. This latest NBA title has tons of secrets hidden within it, about which we have no clue. But all the bells and whistles in the world, even Dennis Rodman, won't make this game a must buy. Let me start off by saying that I'm sick of huge disappointments, rushed titles, and mediocre to just plain junk video games. Spot Goes to Hollywood, rushed or not, is certainly not up to the usual high quality standards set by Virgin Interactive. The play control is awful. At first it doesn't seem so bad, but as you get further into the game, you realize that the intricate level landscapes require good play control to navigate, especially in the cannon ride area. In the options menu, you can choose between isometric or arcade control, but both are seriously flawed. The play control, extremely limited number of lives, no continues, and countless hordes of overwhelming enemies make this game practically impossible to beat. We couldn't even get past the first world, so the footage you're seeing is demo footage. The 3D angle perspective view of the levels is endlessly irritating because you can't see far enough ahead if you run through the levels. If you stay put too long, enemies will get a hold of you. If you run, it's like playing blind, a no-win situation. The trite overhead 3D graphics are also especially disappointing when compared to the cinema scenes. 
The opening sequence is so spectacular, I couldn't put it in words. When you see and hear it for the first time, it's absolutely outstanding. So why does the rest of the game have to stink? Once again, here's a classic example of PlayStation fluff product, with more emphasis on superficial nonsense than on the game itself. At least the Nintendo 64's mostly mediocre library is fun to play. Spot will drive you stark raving mad. A few final thoughts. Spot Goes to Hollywood was originally meant to be a Super NES game several years ago. Virgin considered selling the property to Acclaim, but that never happened. Instead, it seems as if Virgin just took what they already had and ran it on the PlayStation. Since original conception, the game was meant to include Jurassic Park and a Star Wars spoof level, but those levels have been tucked away into the game in the form of secret bonus worlds that can only be reached by collecting all the Hollywood stars in the game. The stars aren't hard to find, but retrieving them without committing suicide in the process is a tall order, especially when you still have to complete all the levels. Is anyone else out there sick of all this star collecting? It was bad enough that we had to find 120 of them in Mario 64. Fair warning, do not get sucked in by the likable Cool Spot character or the movie parodies. While the cinemas are some of the best we've seen, the game itself is too underdeveloped. Since we've trashed Cool Spot so badly, let's end on a good note. Catch an eyeful of this. Sony has released a horde of racing and semi-sports games for the PlayStation. Here's the scoop on their latest batch. Jet Moto is Sony's answer to Wave Race 64 from Nintendo. Although the graphics in some areas are unappealing, others fare pretty well, and so does the gameplay. The tracks in Jet Moto are more complex than Wave Race, so you compete against 20 racers instead of just a few. The camera sometimes takes a vacation and shows more of the side of the track than what's ahead of you, but this flaw does not cripple the game. The controls are pretty good, and of course, the game has plenty of options, but only die-hard racing fans should take a look. On the whole, Jet Moto is not as fun and well-refined as Wave Race, but Jet Moto's very high challenge level more than compensates. Imagine a skateboard without wheels and used as a single ski board. That's the concept behind Cool Borders. The graphics look great in still frames, but they're a disappointment in real time. Also disappointing is the play control. The high speed and challenge of the game make it difficult to navigate the courses, even with the hard turn button. Jumping is also awkward. It feels delayed or held back. As in many other games of this type, you can perform tricks to earn points, but that's kind of pointless. No pun intended. The main goal is not simply surviving the levels, but beating a certain time set previously by a fictional player. This takes away from just being able to have fun, and that announcer, ugh, somebody shoot that dweeb. He's one of those guys with slow motion syntax and overdrawn emotions, saying things like, way cool, man, totally rocking, man, whoa, I thought you were history, and are you tripping out or what? Sometimes you wish the goal of the game were to hunt that wiener down and kill him. If there's a racing game to avoid, it's too extreme, hands down. This game brings back memories of those crappy coin-op games in the back of old restaurants. The graphics have an 8-bit feel, the animation is laughably primitive, and the courses are way too long, repetitive, and boring. You'll want to scream, okay, I get the point. Although your method of transportation may vary from level to level, for example, skateboarding in LA, rollerblading in Vegas, snowboarding in Japan, and bike riding in Africa, the controls are such that you won't even feel as if anything has changed. It doesn't matter what your character is using for transportation if the controls are all the same regardless. Therefore, don't be fooled into thinking this game has variety. It doesn't. Machine guns, explosions, fancy cars and trucks. Sounds like a James Bond film. Twisted Metal 2 from Sony banks on the very essence of James Bond. Action thriving men. Yes, we're talking about Tim Taylor grunt out loud to show your manhood type of men. The great thing about Twisted Metal 2 is that it appeals not only to that type of men, but to all men. Even if you don't think this game is for you, you should check it out. At first, you're not sure what to do in this game, unless you played the prequel. Twisted Metal 2 is not really a racing game like it looks. Each of the eight levels has about six enemies. The challenge is seeking out those enemies who are either on or off the road and destroying them. You can do this with missiles, bombs, and a whole host of power-ups strewn throughout the area. Your vehicle also has a mandatory machine gun in addition to any weapons you have collected. Players will especially like the variety of vehicles to choose from. 
there are enough trucks, cars, and bulldozers to satisfy just about anyone's taste. The play control takes some getting used to, but the somewhat awkward control actually adds to the hectic action movie feel of the game. Your tires will constantly be squealing in pain as you change directions on a dime. The best part of the game is when the top half of the Eiffel Tower falls over and you use it as a bridge to reach the top of the building it landed on. What a hoot! Overall, the experience is much more fun than you would imagine. The challenge is high, however, so expect some frustration. Now, check out this cool comic book-like cinema sequence straight from the game. Don't be fooled by the adventures of Lomax. It looks like child's play, but this Cygnosis platform action game for the Sony PlayStation is one of the hardest we've ever played. The characters should look familiar to you. They are the little trolls from Lemmings, a classic puzzle series. The play control is okay, but feels too tight. Strange, considering that most of the time when there's a problem with play control in a game, it's because it's too loose. Although passwords were given for cleared worlds, not levels, even expert players will find it difficult to advance very far. Each time you pick up where you left off with a password, you are supplied with only three lives. The one that's running when you start, plus two in reserve. We're not sure, but we suspect there are 14 worlds with three levels each. That sounds somewhat short, but the challenge makes it not so. The gameplay becomes increasingly complex as more special abilities are acquired and the gameplay spreads into the backgrounds. Because of the latter, the game has 3D elements, but it's not truly 3D. An amazing thing to see, since Sony has been obsessed with concentrating on 3D games for its system. Lomax is quite irritating when he yells in his high-pitched tone every time he jumps off the ground. Thank goodness you can adjust the sound effects in the options screen. We don't really have any hints for you. Just make sure you bust open the pots with your spin move to look for special abilities. If you find a helmet, it will protect you against one hit. Just as in Super Mario Brothers, getting a mushroom made you big and strong enough to take one hit. After that one hit though, if you get hit again, you die. Finding helmets is not always possible though, so good luck. By the way, you can also throw your helmet to defeat an enemy. Bonus levels are accessed each time you beat 50 enemies, but don't kill yourself trying to earn the bonus. Remember, the priority here is beating the game, and you probably won't. Bottom line, a good game, but not very high on anyone's priority list. Yeah, barely. Barely? Oh, that means it's dying. Oh. But we can... All right. We can make it. We'll do it. Okay. All right. We're going to blaze through coverage of Disney's Pinocchio for the Super NES like you wouldn't believe. This short and sweet kids game has three difficulty levels, but the ending is the same for all. Just like in the movie, the adventure begins as you walk through the town after your first day of school. Okay, on to the next level. Jiminy Cricket wants to watch your performance in Stromboli's puppet show, but the bugs are bugging him, which is ironic because the bugs are bugging a bug. Swat them away with your umbrella, then get ready for the show. Next level. Here, you must mimic the other puppets and keep up with the pace of the show or risk having food in your face, courtesy of the audience. Press Y to move your left hand, X for your right hand, B for your left foot, and A for your right foot. Moving on. Now you must make your way through Pleasure Island, home of Ferris wheels, balloons, fun rides, and bad boys like yourself. Speaking of Pleasure Island, if you've ever been there in Disney World, you'll get a kick out of what goes on there at night. Hello, Dolly. In the next level, Pinocchio decides to go back home, but to do so, he must find an escape route. You'll find a boss at the top of the cliff on the upper left portion of the level. Give him a good beating and you'll be rewarded with your badge of courage. Now there's a mixed signal for today's youth. Having escaped into the moat, you might as well look for Monstro the Whale. This underwater level is very easy and should present no problems. Then again, neither should the others, assuming you're playing the easy mode. Eventually, you'll be swallowed by Monstro. Once inside the big brute, search the lower right area of this cavity and start a fire to make Monstro sneeze. Then find Geppetto and scram. The last level is the rowing race away from Monstro. This level is more difficult as you must anticipate when to duck or jump over rocks. Notice that all the ones you jump over are one color, and the ones you duck under are another color. Maybe that will help. 
Above all, persistence is the key here. If Monstro swallows you again, you just go back to the last level, which is a neat way of recycling gameplay. Once you crash into the shore, make sure Geppetto is okay before you do anything else. Now here's the ending. Nintendo made a great move in buying Maui Mallard from Disney Interactive, who was going to botch the game release due to doubt in the 16-bit market. In 1996, 16-bit systems still managed to maintain the majority of the market. Ironically, by single system, the 32-bit PlayStation has had the most sales. Very interesting. Maui Mallard is fun and easy, a combination common among Disney games. Older or more experienced players should definitely pass on this beat it in two days or less game. Even the bosses are fairly easy, and with passwords for each of the eight levels, the game goes quickly. Defeating the final boss takes a few tries to figure out, but hey, it's fun. The game control is a little loose feeling, but players should have no problems getting used to it. Some unique controls in the game are the use of the Y button to wedge your staff in between two walls for climbing, and the use of the A button to swing from hook to hook. Perhaps most unique is that you must constantly switch between Maui the Detective and Maui the Ninja. The Ninja has the staff at his disposal, but Maui has a toy gun that shoots bugs. The gun is most important in the watery areas, where shooting the gun provides propulsion and enables you to move. Remember, ducks can't swim. Wait a minute, I'm thinking of flying. Of course they can swim. Despite the game's apparent uniqueness, players will still find the game all too familiar. The bottom line is that Maui Mallard is just another high-quality platform game. Perhaps this is why Disney passed on publishing it. Players have moved on to new challenges. We'll save you a rental from Blockbuster. Here's the ending. populated by all kinds of crazy creatures. They don't necessarily slather any meat on the already thick Star Wars story, but they occupy some of the previously sparse backdrops as well. Also, the climactic X-Wing assault on the Death Star. <clears throat> Whoa! Holy shit. Whoa! Thank you, everyone, for your patience. George Wood is such a fucking savage. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> like, wow. But yeah, I appreciate you guys' patience. Thank you so much for, uh... Thank you so much for waiting and watching some 90s video game reviews from George Wood. I'm feeling a lot better. Saltines were good. It was just nice to lay down and have no light and all that.
This is a great opener, man. I mean, wow. You know, it's really cool to hear this being a like direct competitor to uh, Jet Moto because I loved Jet Moto when I was uh, when I was younger, like on the PlayStation. Um, is this the screen size? Is there a display option? Dude, oh, this music is so good. What the hell? 